Hello, welcome to Answers TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. I'm here with a rather lovely Dave Smith. Yeah, there you go. He needs no introduction. I do remember it. Yeah, exactly. New bit of kit for NAM 2020. Definitely. I know nothing, as usual. Could you tell me about it, please? This is the Pro V Super Charger. Uh, as you probably know, when you get back into history, we did the Pro 1 in the early 80s, which was used on extensive recordings. It's a standard. Everybody loves it. Then we did the Pro 2, Dave Smith Instruments, mm -hmm. a few years back. And now we're moving on to the Pro 3. So three different instruments, three different approaches. I kind of think this is you know, almost the ultimate monosynth because it does everything. I, I'll do a quick run through here just so you can kind of get an idea of what's in this thing. Yes, so please. if I just start with a real simple sound. Okay, so we have two VCOs. Uh, you could change the shapes continuously. And then you can modulate the shape also. So a lot of flexibility there. Mm. So two VCOs. Uh, and then we have something new. We have uh, wavetables. So we have 32 sets of 16 wavetables. Each set, the 16 wavetables are all made to match each other. And you could sweep through them. So like, for oh, example. Oh, they play nice together. Yes or something completely different. And to show, we have a very deep mod matrix in here, but it's so easy to use. I just say, okay, what do I want to mod from? And I say, oh, I'm going to go from the slider. Mm -hmm. Destination, I'm going to do this knob that I was just turning, and I'll turn up some amount, and now I can... So you don't have to think, you don't have to go through menus, you don't have to, none of that. It's just directly you control how you want stuff to go. So the next big thing on this synth is the filter. We have three filters and three switches. It's very easy. You just prop it six filter, uh, classic ladder filter, and uh, OB6 filter, all in the same machine. So, you know, you know if you... That's one sound, or old ladder, or of course, the state variable, you know. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, all kinds of sounds out of that. You know, we have three LFOs. Everything kind of came out with threes for some reason. This is a Pro 3, it has three oscillators, it has three LFOs, it has three envelopes. We also have a sequence that it's similar to the Pro 2, but it's a lot easier to use. We've you know, done a lot of improvements on it. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, you know, I could just hit play and, oh no, I want to hit record. Let's record something. Yeah. And that, that's how easy it is. And then if I want to like do a filter sweep, I just hit record. That's how easy it is. And I loved how it was represented on the screen. Yeah, well. yeah. Uh, you know, you could do swing, continuously variable. If you want to put in some rests. Oops, oh. I gotta go back to track one. Even I can understand this. Yeah. I could add slew. I could add ties by just holding two switches. Uh, it's just super easy to use. And you can just pick any knob you want. Uh, and record it. So if I wanted to, uh, let's add some distortion sweep. Some feedback sweep. And pretty soon you've got something pretty crazy. If I want to add uh, ratchets, you know, I could... Uh, so easy to use. So vibrant, these LEDs as well. We're not yeah. much light in here, just to give an idea to people that can't see it. I love well, yeah, the livery to the whole it's thing. It's RGB, so we, as you switch pr uh, tracks, you get different colors, so you kind of know where you are. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so easy to use. Uh, we still have the four control voltage inputs and outputs that are programmable. Uh, so every program, they could be different. They run at audio rates, so you could run an oscillator in, you could run control voltages out from the sequencer, mm -hmm. you could send MIDI out. I mean, it's just, it does everything. And of course, it's, again, it's different per program. So, you know, if I just want to go through some uh, sounds, like this one's kind of fun. If I, 
If I play it this way, it's one thing, but if I hold it, so quiet control. And then I could have some fun with it. And even though that's what it's saying, if I played a sequence, it sounds completely different. fun to play with, you know, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, then, you know, you can have more subtle sounds. Uh, it's paraphonic, so you can play right. it for three notes at a time. So. And yes, you could record a, a paraphonic sequence, too, so you could be playing chords or whatever you want. Uh, the effects uh, sound good. What effects have we got in there? Okay, well, yeah, we we have a whole bunch of effects. It's like most of our instruments now. So you, uh, you know, uh, stereo Everything. delay, B -B bucket brigade, yeah. chorus, flanger, phaser, high pass. Uh, Can they work in the? Um, oh yeah, you could in you the could, yeah you could the change matrix. you could Perfect. change the mix you could change the amount. Of course it can. Yeah, all all of that stuff. Uh, of course you can, we're in safe hands with Dave. Yeah, and then this one. Oh, I didn't show that you can do, it's this easy to go forward, uh, forward reverse, so it goes back and forth. And you have four different sequences that are 16 notes each. In this case, they use them all in a row, so you have the 64 uh, notes. So it just keeps going. Mm. But then you can always have some fun with that. Yeah, the filter I mean it's just oh come on yeah, come on what do it's I? so much fun. when will we be able to get a hands on one uh, well I didn't mention we have two uh, versions we have oh, the special yeah. edition and then over here is the standard edition Come on, Falcon let's have a look the uh, standard edition will be shipping in a couple weeks yeah. uh, the special edition probably mid february and the difference is just... Uh, it's just the look and feel. It's got, this has all the wood and the tilt up and down panel. So it's, you know, kind of a more classic look. Yeah. And, you know, so that one's, you know, cost less, of course. And it's cost less than the Pro 2. So we're actually able to reduce the cost uh, while adding these features and changing wow. it around. So uh, I, I kind of think it's sort of the, the ultimate mono synth. Yeah. It really is. And because of the control voltage ins and out, it's... It, perfect size to be the center of your modular system because you can just interact with it uh, you know all day control voltages gates and I love how you mention fun all the time so well, let's have fun with it that's that's what's missing out there whenever we design an instrument we want something that we're all going to have fun playing that'll make us laugh and it's, it's always great during development because somebody will be testing something and they'll turn it up and then they'll start playing with it and we'll just hear these awesome sounds coming out of it Wow, that's that's just so cool. Yeah, we're making you know, that. It's, it's it's just fun. So, we're happy with the way this one turned out. I think it's going to be a classic. So, thank you, Mr. Smith. It's an honor. Would you thank do you. us the honor of playing us out as well? Playing what? Playing us out with just jamming oh. out. Let's have oh, fun okay. and jam. Yeah.